welcome back. Can you believe it is almost the end of the year? We cannot. But before we start with this favourites video, we've just got a little announcement and it's not that exciting. <laughs> It's not a good announcement. It's not good. Well, oh, it's good for us. It's good enough for you. Um, we've decided that we're going to take the month of December off. So, <laughs> Julia will in any event be on her mammoth five week long holiday. Um, I sure will. And quite frankly, I'm just burnt out and I don't feel like it. So, um, we're going to take a little break from vlogging and filming and all that kind of thing. And we will see you again in the new year. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we don't love you because we do. Um, we will still be active on social media. Yes. I certainly, I'm going to be traveling overseas, so I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot of beauty shopping. I'll be doing Instagram stories and obviously Instagram posts and tweets and Facebook. I'll be updating all social media channels as I go. When Camilla sees something interesting, she'll do the same. So keep your eye on those. That's how you'll keep in touch with us over the next month or so. But uh, yeah, the next time you do see us on the blog or on YouTube will be in January. Right, so. Well, so that's out again. the way. Yes. You can You've go got more. Oh, You've got oh more. I've got more things. Okay. Yeah, you go first. I'm going to start with the most delicious of the things. This is the Lush Bubbly um, Shower Gel. And oh my god, it is mm. citrus heaven. Mm. It's got smelling. orange, lime, lemon oils. Um, so it smells quite s uh, similar to the Celebrate body, their Christmassy body lotion called Celebrate, which they didn't release this year. That's weird. I d well, I haven't I seen it anyway. Nice um, but that has clove in it, whereas this doesn't. So it doesn't. It doesn't have that kind of. Um, it's top. very zingy. It's like oh, it's so zingy. good. It's so good. Um, and I've been using it every morning. It just starts the day off so nicely. It smells delicious. It makes your skin nice and soft. It foams up nicely. Um, it doesn't. It hasn't made me itchy or I haven't had any reactions to it, so that's always nice. And so this is definitely going to be in many of my friends' Christmas stockings because yeah. it's such a lovely product. And I think mm, it's just so delish. And like also really nice because it's good for summer. Mm. And there's a lot of Christmas scents that like I like the smell of, mm. right? But they're much better suited to a cold climate mm. at Christmas time, whereas yeah. that is like Pine proper. Needles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, it's really yummy yeah. and citrusy. Mm. Um, my first favorite, and it is, okay, it's not my most beloved because there's another thing here that rivals it, but my second most beloved mm. product of the month. I am totally obsessed. This is one of the new products from the nice people at Skin Creamery and is the Oil Milk Facial Cleanser. This is just gorgeous. It's a fairly thick balm. So it's not mm. solid, obviously, because you use the pump to get it out, but it's really, really thick. I would almost say it's like thick condensed milk. And that it kind of looks like that too. Yeah, it does what it, it is. And what it looks like. it, it's an oil cleanser, of course, and you use it to cleanse your face. It does say you can use it to take off makeup, but I personally don't find that it is emollient enough for that. It doesn't move around your face easily enough to, to make for a nice, easy way to get makeup off. So I personally don't use it for that. I use it as my second cleanse or as a morning cleanse. The best thing about it is that besides the fact that it's really effective and it smells yum and it's natural and all that good stuff, is that it emulsifies completely with water, which means you don't need to scrub it off with a cloth. So if you're not in the mood or you don't have time or it's just not your jam, you can just literally rinse your face with water, it turns into a milk immediately and just disappears. So it makes it so easy to use and just fuss free and amazing. I absolutely love it. I think it is, mm. that's one of the best things I've discovered this year. It is a great, great product. So that is a big shout. The yeah. skin cream we are just killing it at the moment. Mm. Uh, we're keeping on the theme of locally available skincare. I've got two bits from Squin here and this is the glow drops which Julia has spoken about before and it, I treated myself. You got the big guy. I got the big guy. I treated myself uh, last month and it is just it's so good. I'm their taking that overseas with me for yeah, sure. Their concentrate drops are phenomenal. Um, I don't use it every day. I use it only when I feel like my skin needs it and I actually really like mixing it into um, it's their Lauder Double Wear Light, which is kind mm. of a semi-long wear foundation, and it could look, it can look a little bit flat if my skin's not hydrated enough. And if I put a drop of this in, it's it's perfect because you still get the longevity and the coverage, but it is a bit more of a luminous finish, which I really enjoy. It smells delicious, feels great, really leaves your skin looking plumped up, juicy, youthful, fresh, not like you're having end of year burnout. So really enjoyed that mm -hmm. and this is a new release from them this is their retinin mini part resurfacing moisturizer so this is um, a vitamin A product and it's it's the form is retinin which is a much more it's a form of vitamin A that's more suited to sensitive skins who are also prone to breakouts I am not really prone to breakouts all that much but my skin is sensitive and historically when I've tried to use retinol it's not too gone. aggressive yeah it's too aggressive look at the color of the stuff it looks like li liquid oh, like wow. the Simpsons like it's Completely yellow. Like I don't know, yeah, and it, it's not my favorite smell. I'll be honest. That's bizarre. It's a weird smell, eh? Yeah. Anyway, but I mean, rather but that than some synthetic fragrance. Um, 
but I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it kind of three to four nights a week. I've had no reactions. I think my skin's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So if, if you're someone like me and you struggle to find a retinol that works for you um, and you want to dip your toe in and kind of start experimenting with it, then I really think this is this is brilliant. Okay, my next one is, strangely enough, two months in a row, it's an SPF. Mm. And this is from Bioderma and it is the Photoderm SPF 50 Plus Tinted Protective Cream and the shade is Golden Color. <laughs> Okay. Um, now, I have used the non-tinted version of the sunscreen for many years. It's the one that I usually take to the beach with me. I find it a bit heavy to wear under makeup, so it's more something I wear when I'm outdoors. I had never used it and I'd never considered that the pigment might be enough that you could actually wear it day to day as like proper tinted moisturizer coverage. Mm. And then a friend recommended it to me because she picked it up by mistake actually. She also meant to get the non-tinted version and she said it was great. So I was like, oh, I've got that at home somewhere. I'll give it a try. It's amazing. It basically has the coverage of, I would say, a light to medium coverage tinted moisturizer. It's not too shiny, like I just um, blots down with powder and it works absolutely fine. I don't get super shiny the other day. So it's basically like a really good tinted moisture moisturizer with the added benefit of an SPF 50, which is That's amazing. Point. So yeah, that is a really good find. It comes in a few colors. I think there are four, but I could be wrong. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy to have discovered that because I reckon I'm going to get a lot of use out of this in summer. Hmm. I'll just follow your lead. This is another base product. This is from Elizabeth Arden and it's their Privage Anti-Aging Foundation. Now I wrote a blog post about this um, so we'll link the post below so I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. But it's basically a skincare foundation, a skincare makeup hybrid so it's infused with antioxidants and all kinds of other skincare benefits. They even claim that you can sleep in it to get added skincare benefits, don't do that. That aside, it is a really beautiful foundation. I know you really like mm -hmm. it as well. Um, it's very nice. I think it's the closest dupe that I've been able to find to the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation, which is just the most glorious thing I've ever put on my face. This is very similar in terms of texture, finish, longevity. Um, it just evens out the skin tone really beautifully. It wears, you know, it wears well. I don't think they claim you get 24 hours wear out of this. It's Why would you want to wear your foundation for 24 hours? hours? No. I'm, I'm good with a solid eight to ten hours of wear. That like, yeah. is impressive. Coverage is kind of light. Um, it's quite sheer sheer than I expected. It's, it's, it's a lot more sheer than I expected. So if you have problem skin, this is not for you. It's not going to cover any blemishes or pigmentation of a serious nature. I think if you already have quite good skin, this is going to be right up, your, yeah. right up your street. It's really, really, really lovely. Next up for me is a product from the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective range. This is the Clarity Activating Toner and it is a new product from the Clearly Corrective range. It also has the classic vitamin C serum um, dark, spot. dark spot solution. <laughs> and then this product which is the Skin Brightening Exfoliator. I know Tori is a huge fan of this. Mm. I've used this as well but I don't love it. I actually find it a little bit drying. Oh, really? I find once I've used it my skin's oh, kind of squeaky clean at the end and I don't like ah. squeaky clean. So it is lovely, it's a really nice exfoliator, I used it this morning, mm. but I don't, I'm not head over heels for it. Awesome. This is a great product because it's got the activated vitamin C in there, so it's a nice high concentration of antioxidants, which is obviously something that as we're getting older, sorry, um, we need to be incorporating into our skincare routine. What I like about it in this form, because I do have a separate antioxidant that I'm using at the moment, but because this is just a liquid toner, it disappears completely into the skin, so it's not like having another layer of product exactly mm. on it's actually just more like a toner so I like that it's a kind of added benefit without feeling any heavier on my skin um, and I think that's really nice if you do suffer with dark spots or pigmentation that is a lovely range to have a look at um, and you can obviously always get tests from Kiehl's as well which is mm. great yeah they're really good with that this is Sally Hughes pretty iconic I mean you will know if you've been with us for any length of time. The woman can do no wrong. Mm. She's just, she's heaven. She's heaven, she's heaven. We both loved Pretty Honest, um, and then when we saw that Pretty Iconic was um, coming out, I placed an order for two, got one for Julia for her birthday. It was such a... Joy. It was a joy, like a comforting, mm. wonderful thing to read. Um, yeah. It's a really personal kind of look at beauty products through the ages and you get a real sense of Sally's upbringing and her childhood and her family and it, it's so beautifully written when she speaks about her grandfather and the Old Spice oh waterworks I was just yeah I, just, I read that last night actually oh, it is it's a really lovely feel good mm. and even if you're not a product junkie I just I love her style of writing I think I saw she, Nigel Slater tweeted yes, the other day saying yeah. that he's loving reading it yeah. Nigel Slater's like a cookbook cook, author yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. Um, I think it's 
it makes a really lovely. It's like difference. an encyclopedia. It's so it's like her, her yeah, products, her yeah. personal thoughts on certain products, not necessarily all products that she loves, mm. but products that are iconic in one way or another. Mm. Um, and then also sort of education about how they were invented or the history of them. It's just really, mm. really interesting. So interesting. I, oh. Yeah. I just love you so much. I just want you to be my friend. <laughs> she is our friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> my final favorite, and oh, oh, is it joyful? <laughs> Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Sure. Oh, it is so beautiful. I am mm. a die-hard devotee of the Naked 2. I love that palette. You saw it in my Ride or Die yeah. tag. It is awesome. This is such a close second, I can't mm. even tell you. Now, for those who are uninitiated, it is a set of matte shadows. There is, in fact, one satin shadow. This one over here is the perfect brow bone highlight. Everything else is matte, and as you can see, it's a really good combination of cool tones and warm tones. Now, there is a huge hype around warm toned eyeshadows at the moment. Every Tom, Dick and Harry is bringing out some version of like an orange or gold or whatever palette. Into it. It's not my jam. <laughs> I am a cool tone girl through and through. So I, when I got this, I thought, oh, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just going to use the cool tones. It'll be lovely. Except I've landed up using the warm tones. But there's just something really wearable about them and just gorgeous. I'm wearing them on my eyes today. You're a dream. I mean, You're this is just dream. literally, I'll give you the tutorial. So this, no, this shade all over the eye. This shade in the crease, a slightly more tapered brush, putting that into the crease and then bringing it down onto the lash line in kind of a C. And that's basically the look. Um, and I use the, the satiny colour as the inner corner highlight and I'm on my brow bone. And it's just, it was so easy. They blend, like even better than normal Urban Decay shadows. They're super pigmented. It's just, it requires absolutely no effort. It's amazing. I absolutely love the packaging. It's just goddamn stunning. And... I just, you know, no, that is well worth the money. And 850 Rand for 12 oh, eyeshadows is of that quality. That's total mad. bargain. My final favorite is a range, which I've also written a blog post about. So this is the Red Ken. Oh, God. John's in There we go. Um, so this is the Red Ken High Rise Volume Lifting uh, range, and it has replaced the Body Full Volumizing range, and it is. So legit, I can't even tell you. Does it smell good? Yeah, it does smell so good. Um, I'm so buying this tomorrow. Mm, shampoo and conditioner, fantastic. The shampoo has, like, a, it actually leaves, like, texture in your hair. It's the first um, shampoo I've ever used that doesn't leave your hair feeling stripped. It just it just has texture in there, you know nice. what I mean? Conditioner is lovely. It keeps the ends nice and soft, but doesn't weigh the hair down. But this stuff, this is the uh, Duo Volumizer. So this is, um, like, a gel cream hybrid that is so effective I can't even begin to tell you. So I apply this into damp hair obviously pre-blow dry and I've used it with a barrel brush to get kind of rich girl hair which works really well. I've used it just kind of rough drying with a paddle brush and that gives you crazy volume um, and then I've also done that and then followed on with a curling tong and that's just like Victoria's mm. Secret big bouncy dream beautiful hair. hair. Oh my hair too. Mm. Dream dream dream. It's 480 Rand but if you took advantage of the retail box Black Friday sale, then you would have got it for cheaper. But I mean, I would have to. That's what I'll be doing. Yeah. It's, it's rendered, this has rendered all of my other volumizing products obsolete. I don't need them. I don't need them. Like, it's, it's I'm so I'm going to have to put the money flying away emoji. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to be buying them. that. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Cool. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. As we said, we will see you next year. I'm sorry there's no Christmas giveaway this year, but there is a very exciting giveaway of some super premium skincare coming um, in January, February. So keep your eyes on the blog for that. Have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Stay safe, and we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye. Bye.